This video is brought to you by UnlimitedCase.com. For the latest and greatest iPhone accessories at the latest and greatest prices, go to www.unlimitedcase.com. We thank them for their support of this iPhone guy. Okay, guys, this is part two. The big, fun, let's do it part. Jailbreaking is a very simple process, and there's a few tools that you need to get rounded up to do this. Now, the original, true, the real guys is the iPhone dev team, and they're located at blog.iphone-dev.org. I'm going to stick the link in the sidebar. They must have lost the CSS file or something because their site's a little weirded out right now, but normally looks a little bit better. Anyway, so this is all the software they do. And uh, they're saying, hello, great, everything. Now, there's two main tools that used to be just the standard. You would never use anything else, and they were called Ponage Tool. That's for the Macintosh only, and Quick Pwn, which for the Macintosh and Windows. Now, what's the difference? Ponage Tool creates a firmware file that you have to go into iTunes and do all this crap yourself, and uh, it starts out fresh. It's a brand new firmware. And then they came out with Quick Pwn, and Quick Pwn does everything automatically. I can have my phone right now. Let's say it's not Joe broken. Let's say I have five email accounts set up, which I do. Actually, I have seven. And uh, I have a bunch of apps. They're all flying around. But hey, I don't want to resync. I don't want to have to restore my firmware. Well, you don't. With QuickPone, it's very simple, very easy to do. You're done. And I'll show you that process here in a minute. Uh, now, for the iPhone 3GS, uh, running 3.0 software, the iPhone dev team said nay. We found a jailbreak. We're able to do it. We could release software today, but we're not going to. We're going to wait until 3.1 which made a lot of people pissed off because they said well listen you might not be able to work into it all that other stuff and then this other genius I love this guy he I'm leaving the iPhone dev team now he created purple rain spelled with a one and uh, purple rain is incredible it jailbreaks your iPhone 3GS and can unlock it when you install another package which we'll also show you later from uh, Cydia but he said listen iPhone dev team not cool why are you holding us back? Why are you not, not letting people jailbreak? Let them do it. And so he said, I would never do this if they hadn't done this. And he released his own software, Purple Rain. Works great, works fantastic. It's the quickest and easiest software I've ever used. He's my hero. I mean, it's just incredibly easy. And so that's the deal. And so those of you that are asking, well, should I jailbreak if I'm on 3.0 with 3GS? I may not be able to get in. Well, this Purple Rain guy said, don't even worry about it. He said, I'll find a hack the day the firmware comes out. So it's pretty promising. I did it. I'm happy. It's great. It's fun. And uh, so the iPhone dev team. Now, what you're going to need to do in a lot of cases, you're not going to have to do it on uh, Purple Rain, but you will have to do it on Quick Pwn and Pwnage Tool. You'll have to download firmwares. So follow this link. It's in the sidebar, iPhoneFirmware.com. Very good. It has all the listed firmwares here, and you download it directly from their site. It's a little bit slower, but all of these firmwares are good and work great. So you find your device. Oh, I have the iPhone 3GS, firmware 3.0. It's only for the iPhone 3GS models. There you go. You click it. It starts downloading, but I already have that. Now, I've thrown all the main applications into one folder. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? Uh... There it is. Stinker. Okay. That was on the desktop. Okay. Jailbreak. Oh, what the freak? Did I already put it in there? No. Okay. So here we go. Great. Ready to go. We're going to start with Purple Rain. Now, this is for the iPhone 3GS only. You plug your iPhone into your computer. This is so easy, it'll make you cry. You push Make It Rain, and it's going to tell me, whoa, I don't have a device. But what it does, nothing it's all automated there's a guy that pops up with rain on your screen and then it reboots your iPhone and you get this little application called freeze now freeze it's just a blank icon that appears on your springboard you're gonna want to be on Wi-Fi to do this you click and open freeze at the bottom of the page there's a little item that says download Cydia you click it and it runs a bunch of processes it downloads it installs and you have Cydia the installer on your phone. You're jailbroken, you're ready to go. That's it. That's simple. Purple Rain is the fastest and easiest way to do it. I'm in love with it and it's awesome. Why do I always get telephone calls in these videos? I'm not going to answer it. Good, it's not my family. Okay, so 
This next one is quick poem. Now it says please automatically connect your device and we'll test it and move to the next step. Now quick poem does everything by itself. It's very simple, very easy to do. So I would plug my iPhone into my computer and push OK. It'll automatically detect that it's an iPhone 3GS and will automatically find this iPhone restore. That simple. And then it continues to create this new IPSW file, which is the custom or modified firmware from the original. It then downloads and jailbreaks your device for you. And then, uh, you, okay, so your device is then jailbroken. There's no freeze, there's none of that. CD is just on your device. And you can even install installer if you want. I wouldn't do it, just get IC3 City itself. So you're good. This works for iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch, first and second generation. No iPhone 3GS. Enough said. Okay, so there you go. That's the jailbreak for that. And then it does it all by itself. And you're ready to go. That's it. Also a very simple application. It takes a little bit more time than Purple Rain, which is Ninja. But that's your other solution. Okay, now these two are the bigger ones. This one's also very simple, so I'm going to open this and show you. It's called Red Snow. Now, this is saying, hey, you know, we're not doing any of this crap. Just continue. If it breaks, it's not our fault. Well, it is, but whatever. You just continue. And you have to browse for your IPSW or your current firmware. So if you're running 2.2, do not download the 3.0 file. You're going to want to download the 2.2 file. So I'm running a 3GS 3.0. This is it. There it is. So I just simply browse for that file. It's on my desktop. It's under jailbroken. And I click it and I push open and then it processes the firmware and it'll say good job you selected the right firmware sometimes there you go IPSW selectly successfully identified you push next it downloads this kernel don't even worry about it fine whatever now it's gonna say install city and install IC now this is a new option I do like IC and I would recommend that you install it uh, for 3GS people don't like it yet and it's a little bit buggy but this doesn't even work with the iPhone 3GS, so don't even worry. This is iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch, and iPod Touch second generation. So you can go bam, install Cydia, we're done. We click next. Now it says make sure your device is both turned off and plugged into the computer. So you're going to want to go like this and turn it off. Then you're going to plug it into your computer. You're going to want to plug your device into your computer first though. So I take my cord. Uh-oh. Did I quit that? What the freak? Wow, okay, well then. Uh, let's reopen that. I apologize. What a pain in the rear. Processing, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I've got my phone turned off. I've got it ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is stick it into DFU mode, which stands for Device Firmware Update or Upgrade. I don't remember. But doesn't matter. Essentially what it does is it puts your iPhone into a dummy state. Once it's in DFU mode, you can't do anything. So back up, save all your crap before you do this. Okay. And so I'm going to click next. Now, right now it starts counting down already. So what you're going to want to do is at the same time you push next and the same time you push down the power button. So do these two at the same time. So we're going to hold it. One, two and I held on so it doesn't really matter but then you're gonna keep the power button held and push down the home button for six five four three two one now we're gonna keep holding the home button but let the power button off now you have to keep this with exact timing when it gets to about 22 seconds it's gonna take you to the next screen which will jailbreak your device for you done simple easy to go but you're gonna want to keep holding the button down this is a big problem people have had hold the button hold the button hold the button I don't care you'll start getting crap on your screen other stuff will start going jailbreaking process keep holding it down once you see a weird logo or something you've never seen on your phone before you can let go but until that point do not let go of the home button that's the biggest problem with Red Snow